Hey friends, it's Keezy here today, and today we'll be taking a look at Rainbow High Series 5, Priscilla Perez. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So of course, Rainbow High has a new box design for this series, so you can kind of see a gradient rainbow going around the edge here. You can also see some gold foiling going around the window. In the top right hand corner here, it says Priscilla Perez. And then on the top here, it says let your true colors shine in a holographic text as well. On the right side here, you can see the gold line art. And then on the back carton, that same line art in black. On the side here, you can see it says Priscilla, and she is a fashion design focus like all the dolls in this series. On the back here, it does have a foiled Rainbow High logo. You can see Priscilla and Michelle here. And then here is a read up about the doll if you'd like to pause and read that. Also, I forget to do this every single time, <laughs> but she was $26.99. And here is the UPC code if you're still looking for her. So now that we've taken a look at Priscilla's box, let's go ahead and get her out. All right, so now that we've gotten Priscilla out of the box, let's take a look at the accessories that she comes with. So of course, like all Rainbow High dolls, she comes with a stand. It is pink with some pink embedded glitter in it. She also comes with the standard Rainbow High comb in the exact same color. She comes with the handy dandy coat hanger and pant hanger, also in pink. Priscilla also comes with a laptop. You can see it has a rainbow here with a RR and that kind of Chanel looking logo. Then on the front here, you can see that she's in Photoshop editing some fashion sketches. And of course it does have the molded on keys. She does come with a phone and a phone case. It looks like she's on Instagram here, looking at some of those same sketches that are on her computer. Her phone is gold. And the phone case has some kind of transposed RRs on them. I think this is like a play on the Fendi print. And of course the case has a hole so that she can hold it on her thumb. She also comes with a set of makeup brushes. We've seen these all before. And she also comes with a lip gloss bullet that kind of matches the color on her lip. You can also see a makeup palette here that is in kind of like a pinkish orange color. It does have that faux Medusa head molded on the very top. When you open it up here, which is kind of hard to do, of course she has a mirror and some shades that kind of go along with her color scheme. For earrings, Priscilla has these dangling gold earrings. They have kind of like a transparent stud at the very top. Then it goes down into this little oval here that has some gems going throughout. Then you can also see some dangling kind of chains with some more gems. And of course, they're the same on each side. For shoes, Priscilla has these platform heels. You can see they have a really, really high heel and a really high platform. They also have some nice painted gold buckles here with some straps. They're very similar but I also think they're very cute and the sole of the shoe is gold. Priscilla's outfit is very interesting so she does come with this little pink kind of ruffled stole here. She does have these little pom-poms here that are like some bunched together tool. It also has some rubber band straps here so that she can keep it on her body pretty easily. For her dress, she has this pink mini dress. It's made out of a little satin here. It also has an attached bralette. It does look like it's a separate piece, but it is not. On the bralette here, you can see some applied gemstones. I would just be careful with this because MGA is known for their gems falling off pretty easily. Although these feel like they're secured on pretty well. You can see some darts going throughout the front of the dress. And you can see a belt here in gold that says RH. I will say that mine is put on, it looks like they put it on backwards. You can see the belt has some rhinestones that go all the way across, but the pendant itself is on backwards. Not a huge problem, but you know, they, they could have paid attention to that for sure. And the back is undetailed other than the Velcros. Priscilla also comes with some fingerless gloves. They're in like a nice faux leather. They do have some gold eyelets going all the way up. And then you can see that they do actually lay up and they tie in a bow at the very top here. I will definitely be careful taking these off of her because I don't want to have to retie this. And that's pretty much it for her outfit. It's honestly very, very simple. 
Now let's go ahead and take a look at her screening. So she has some kind of brownish orange eyebrows. I wish they had have made these maybe a pink or a darker brown. I think they're kind of an odd color. For her eye makeup, you can see that she has some smoked out pink in her crease. For the eyeshadow, it's kind of like a winged kind of metallic white paint. For her eyeliner, of course, she has like some straight cat eye eyeliner. Her eyes are like a kind of grayish green. I definitely want to say this is a unique color. I don't think that we've seen it before. She does have some very light blush on her pinks, which is like a light pink. And then her lip is kind of like a darker pink as well. Her head mold says it's a 2020 mold, so I'm pretty sure that this is the twins mold. For her hair, she has a kind of side part. You can see part of it is pulled up to the side here, and it is a mix of like a hot pink, a light kind of whitish pink, and then also kind of like an orangish pink here. It's a very interesting color scheme, definitely something that we haven't seen before. It does have a light curl at the very bottom here, and there's not a whole, whole bunch of product in it I feel like it'll wash out pretty well and be really really nice and soft for articulation she has the standard rainbow high articulation so she can swivel at the head she can also bend at the elbow she can bend at the wrist she can also do a double joint at the knee and that is it for the articulation also Priscilla does have a longer nail mold it seems like all the dolls in this line have the longer nails um, her, mine isn't painted that well, but I never really pay attention to the manicure. And honestly guys, that is all for Priscilla Perez. So let me go ahead and give you my final thoughts. She definitely was my least favorite out of this line and I definitely feel that that still rings true. I ranked her as last and I definitely feel that. Um, I will just go ahead and start with the pros. So I think that her hair is a very interesting color and a very interesting blend. I don't feel like this is a shade of pink that we've ever seen before. So that's definitely nice that it's unique. I'll also say I really do like her shoes. I love how high they are. And yeah, I would definitely wouldn't mind if they reuse these again. I feel like you can probably get a lot of really great restyles out of these shoes. I will also say that the opera linked gloves with the actually working laces is a really, really nice touch. Again, I think this is really cute. Now for the cons. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I feel like she's just a really basic pink doll in my opinion. I don't really understand the whole tool fluffy um, stole thing. I don't think that it really adds that much to the outfit. I kind of wish that it was like a sheer, like almost jacket with this tool around it. I think that would add to the look. I'm also really not a huge fan of the satin that her dress is made out of. It does feel really thin. And just overall, from a design standpoint, I don't like the dress. I, I don't think it's very cute or very flattering for her figure at all. I also feel like one more con is that they could have done something different with her hair, something a little bit more unique. I feel like with series four, they gave us a lot of unique hairstyles, a lot of unique hair clips. So maybe if she had some hair clips or something, it would add to the look. Overall, I feel like she just doesn't feel like she's worth the $26.99 price versus some of the other dolls in this line, but I think she's still pretty. I will say I'm not going to um, bag on her too much. I still think that she's a very pretty doll. She's just not one of my favorites. Like, if I wasn't a completist, I would say I could pass on her because she's just kind of eh. She's another pink doll in my opinion. But now that we've taken a look at all the things that Priscilla Perez comes with, let's go ahead and restyle some hair. All right, friends. So if you're interested to know any of the products that I'm using in today's video, everything will be listed in the description below. But with that being said, let's go ahead and answer some more questions from Instagram that you guys asked. Which is better, Shadow High Series 2 or Rainbow High Series 5? Definitely Shadow High Series 2. I think that I like just the Shadow High aesthetic a little bit more. And I just feel like Shadow High Series 2 was a really, really strong line. Like the quality was amazing. I think they really pushed that $24.99 budget on every single doll and it definitely shows. 
The safest hot tools for dolls. So I use all hot tools products for my dolls. So my flat iron and my curling iron that I use on a regular basis is from hot tools. You absolutely don't have to use a hot tools curling iron. It's completely up to what's in your budget. What I will say though, is if you're gonna use hot tools on your dolls, they need to be temperature controlled. It needs to go from like 200 all the way up to 400 because how you burn your doll's hair is the temperature being too hot whether the product has a dial or it's a digital temperature control it definitely needs to have one what is a doll that you like that nobody else likes? So I would say a most recent one that I like that I feel like a lot of people don't really care for is Rainbow High Series 5 Aiden. Um, I actually think he's a really, really cute doll. I think his outfit is definitely something that I would wear personally. So I don't, I don't understand the hate on him. I think that he's a really nice doll that I don't mind having in my collection. What is your favorite doll in your collection, including restyled dolls? So, this one is actually a hard one. Um, I have kind of favorite dolls in different categories, but if I had to say my favorite dolls overall, is I actually have a custom Sailor Moon doll that I paid like $300 for from a artist on Instagram. Either her or my brat's sweet dream. Felicia <laughs> so yeah those are probably my favorite dolls I can't just pick one hairstyling must-haves so I didn't want to just ignore this question so now that I'm about to probably have a break now that I'm done with the series 5 restyles after I finish Aiden of course I'm thinking about doing a series of videos where I go over hairstyling must-haves I also want to do a full video on doll hair types yeah so stay tuned for that because I'm pretty I'm about 99% sure I'm gonna do it rank Rainbow High series 1 through 5 from favorites to least favorites three four five two one there you go what color of doll would you like to see more of? So I am a little impartial to red because red is actually my favorite color. So I would definitely love to see more shades of red. When did you start collecting and what was your first doll ever? So I started doll collecting back in 2018. My first doll ever was actually a Style It Chloe because I actually, when I first started collecting dolls, was exclusively a Bratz doll collector. I didn't collect any other doll. <laughs> so yes, it was a Style It Chloe, the version that has the polypropylene. Her hair was a super frizzy, but yeah, that was my first doll. Will you ever do Ever After High freestyles? Um, I actually don't have any Ever After High dolls, but never say never. Favorite place on earth? So I would definitely say my favorite place on earth is the beach. There's nothing like being at the beach on a windy day and just looking at how vast the ocean is. It's just so calming. And yeah, I haven't been on a vacation in a really long time, so I definitely have to get to the beach. Hey Peachy, how did you get into doll collecting and what would be your dream job? So uh, I kind of answered this in my last video, but I'll tell the other side of it. So back in 2018, I was watching a lot of doll collectors like As Does Makeup was one of my favorites. I used to watch his videos all the time. And I was watching also a lot of doll customizers like Poppin Alt Alt Atelier, oh my gosh. <laughs> And yeah, I just had a love for dolls when I was a kid. So I started looking at eBay listings. And again, I was exclusively a Bratz collector. So I, back in 2018, the prices weren't too, too crazy yet. So I just bought a whole bunch of Bratz dolls. Like within that first year, I probably bought a couple hundred. <laughs> so that's what I, how I got into doll collecting. Again, it's kind of the short version. I'd love to go into detail about my doll collecting story one day but what is my dream job i would love to do hair design for a major company so mga mattel if you guys see this i'm i'm up for hire i'm up for hire <laughs>
what is your inspiration when you pick out a hairstyle? So I kind of just go off the doll's vibe. I just kind of, I know that kind of sounds weird. Yeah. <laughs> but that's literally what I do is that I literally just kind of go off what the vibe the doll is giving me just throughout their clothes, their makeup screening. I really want my doll's hairstyles to feel personalized to them. Or if I just have a certain inspiration from maybe a certain time period. Yeah, I just, I draw inspiration from so many other things. And sometimes I even see other doll restylers and I may see an element that I like that I want to incorporate into my own doll. Is there a doll that you don't own but you would love to have in your collection? Yes. So again, I actually used to be an exclusively Bratz collector. And I actually went through this time period where I had to sell off quite a few of my dolls. Like, actually, my Bratz collection now is very, very streamlined compared to what I used to have. So I would love to get back my Magic Hair Raya or actually I had to sell my Campfire Felicia. So I'm, I'm excited for the repros that are coming back out for Bratz so that I can rebuild my collection. When did you start liking playing with hair? You're an amazing stylist. Thank you. And honestly, I have been a doll restyler since the day I started collecting. All right, friends, and that is all for my restyle and review of Priscilla Perez. Thank you guys so much to everybody who asked questions on my Instagram. Also, if you enjoyed today's video, if you enjoyed hanging out with me, of course, give that thumbs up button a big push. Also, if you enjoy living your doll hairstylist fantasy, that's what we do here every single week on this channel. So if you feel like it, hit that subscribe button and stick around a little bit. Also, tell me what you guys thought of today's restyle. Sound off in the comments down below. Also, I would love to see you guys on my other platforms. It's Peace, Love, and Plastic on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. But we only have one more video in the Rainbow High Series 5 restyles, and that is Aiden. I can't wait to see you guys there. So I'll see you guys later this week. Peace! Got me feeling better.